It's been a while since my last video, so I thought I'd just give you a little update on what I've been up to. I'm still going to be posting to this channel. It's just, I've been working on some longer form projects that are taking a little longer than I'd hoped. In September, there was a group ride with the Super 73 guys and we've all kept in touch. And they basically, we've arranged another Halloween ride, which is happening on Saturday, the 30th at 3 p.m. at Hyde Park, if you wanted to come. It would be great to have some more urban drive style riders there. So come along if you can. I've got a costume. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because it might ruin the surprise, um, but it should be a good one. I had a work thing in Canary Wharf a few weeks back, so I took the bike. where I need to be but I'm just trying to figure out whether I should park underground in a motorbike bay or somewhere overground. nervous leaving the bike there hopefully no one takes it it was the first time in years that I'd left my bike um, locked up outside for longer than an hour now Canary Wharf is a really nice area there's a high security presence but still my anxiety levels were through the roof and it's still here Whew. thankfully it was still there when I got back I use a kryptonite D-lock, a kryptonite cable, and I even put the rain cover on it. And let me know what security measures you use for when you lock up your bike. Um, I know there are lots of GPS trackers and all sorts of locks. Would be keen to hear your thoughts. I rode back by the river and it was absolutely stunning. still been riding throughout this um, autumnal weather. It's pretty cold this morning. I got caught out badly twice in the rain, got absolutely drenched. So I've added to my waterproofing gear. Oh, big dog there. Leave my camera alone. Yeah, good boy. Um, so I've added to my waterproofing gear. I've got some over trousers, which are pretty standard, I think, because the tops of my legs got absolutely soaked. Now, I'm not sure if this is super geeky or genius, but I bought these waterproof overshoes. What do you think of them? I haven't worn them yet, but I think they'll come in handy. I got a new mount for my Insta360 and my son and I went off-road to test out a bunch of different angles, which is quite fun. It seems okay, but the clamp seems to kind of move the, the selfie stick down especially if I'm on uh, bumpy roads. I mean, that's kind of frustrating, but it seems to have worked. Um, if you film yourself riding, what mounts do you use? I would be keen to hear your tips on this. Finally, and this is kind of the subject of my next video, the video I'm working on, um, I installed a throttle. I say throttle, it's more of a push button. And it's, it's been installed all in the name of research. In fact, I would like your help with this. If you have a throttle installed, let me know what you think of it. Do you think it's safe? Is it needed? How does it change your riding experience? That's about it for this video. Um, as I said, lots more stuff to come. So please do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.